The 2024 Paris Olympics welcomed breakdancing to the world stage, marking a historic moment for the sport. Amidst the spinning, the power moves, and the gravity-defying stunts, the competition was fierce and the energy was electric. Among the sea of talented dancers, one competitor stood out for a completely different reason, Rachel Reagan Gunn. This Australian breakdancer wasn't winning medals or topping the scoreboards. In fact, she wasn't even close to the podium, but what Ray Gunn lacked in technical prowess, she made up for in pure, unadulterated, meme-worthy moments that captured the hearts of viewers. The internet, as it often does, went wild with her antics, turning her into an overnight sensation. Ray Gunn's journey from the streets of Melbourne to global meme sensation was as unexpected as her dance style, filled with quirky moves and infectious energy, while other athletes trained for years, honing their bodies into instruments of athletic perfection, dedicating countless hours to their craft, Ray Gunn danced with a different kind of energy, one that was less about precision and more about passion and joy. Hers was a style that screamed, I'm just here to have a good time, and that resonated with audiences around the world. And in that, she found her own unique kind of Olympic glory, proving that sometimes the best victories aren't measured in medals, but in moments of pure joy and connection. Describing Reagan's breakdancing style requires a new vocabulary. It's not something you can easily categorize or put into a neat little box. It wasn't bad in the traditional sense. It was more unconventional. Her moves defied the norms and expectations of what breakdancing should be. Imagine a flamingo learning to tango after one too many cocktails. It was a blend of grace and clumsiness that somehow worked. Her movements were jerky, her freezes shaky, her facial expressions a constant source of amusement. It was as if she was in her own world, dancing to a rhythm only she could hear. One commentator even described her style as aggressively enthusiastic. It was a performance that demanded attention, whether you liked it or not. But within the awkwardness, there was a strange magnetism. People couldn't help but watch, captivated by her unique approach. Reagan wasn't trying to be the best. She wasn't aiming for perfection or trying to impress the judges. She wasn't trying to fit in. Her goal was simply to express herself, to dance in a way that felt true to her. And in a world obsessed with perfection, her unapologetic imperfection struck a chord. People could relate. They saw a bit of themselves in her. Who hasn't felt like a fish out of water, trying to keep up with the latest trend or master a new skill? We've all been there feeling awkward and out of place. Ray Gunn was the embodiment of that feeling, flailing limbs and all. She made it okay to be imperfect, to be yourself and to dance like nobody's watching. The Olympic judges with their clipboards and discerning eyes didn't quite know what to make of Ray Gunn. Her scores were, shall we say, less than stellar. But while she wasn't racking up points on the official scoreboard, Ray Gunn was winning a different kind of competition. The internet's heart, memes exploded across social media. Ray Gunn's awkward poses were photoshopped into Renaissance paintings. Her dance moves were set to everything from polka music to death metal. She became the unlikely hero of the 2024 games, proving that sometimes it's not about winning, but about embracing the sheer joy of doing your own thing even if it's a little or a lot weird. Reagan's sudden rise to internet stardom wasn't without its downsides. While many found her antics hilarious and endearing, others weren't so kind. The court of public opinion, as always, was divided. Some accused her of mocking break dancing, of being a publicity stunt, of not taking the Olympics seriously. The internet, it seems, is both a blessing and a curse, it can elevate someone to fame overnight, but it can also be a breeding ground for negativity and cruelty. Reagan's story became a cautionary tale of the double-edged sword of viral fame, of the fine line between good-natured humor and outright bullying. Section five, divided opinions, the breaking community reacts to Reagan. Within the breakdancing world, Reagan's performance sparked heated debate. Her unique approach to the dance form left no one indifferent. Some veterans of the scene were less than impressed. They felt that her moves lacked the traditional elements that define breakdancing. 
They argued that her unorthodox style, while entertaining, made a mockery of the years of dedication and skill required to master the art form. To them, it seemed like she was bypassing the hard work that many had put in. Rumours even circulated that Ray Gunn's performance had contributed to the decision to drop breakdancing from the 2028 Los Angeles Olympics. This rumour added fuel to the fire, intensifying the debate. However, others within the community defended Reagan, praising her originality and her courage to be herself. They admired her for breaking the mould and bringing something new to the table. They saw her performance as a breath of fresh air, a reminder that breakdancing at its core is about self-expression and pushing boundaries. For them, Reagan represented the evolution of the art form. Love her or hate her, Reagan had sparked a conversation about the future of breakdancing and its place on the world stage. Her performance made everyone reconsider what breakdancing could be and where it might go from here. Section 6. When memes turn mean, cyberbullying mars the moment. Unfortunately, not all the attention Reagan received was positive. The anonymity of the internet emboldened some to cross the line from playful ribbing to outright cyberbullying. Cruel memes circulated, mocking her appearance and her dancing. Hateful comments flooded her social media accounts. The situation highlighted the dark side of internet fame, the ease with which faceless individuals can inflict pain and emotional distress from behind their keyboards. Reagan's story became a stark reminder of the urgent need for greater online accountability and the importance of fostering a culture of empathy and respect in the digital sphere. Amidst the whirlwind of memes, criticism and cyberbullying, Raygun remained remarkably composed. In a candid interview, she addressed the controversy head on. Look, she said, her voice laced with a hint of defiance. I knew I wasn't going to win any medals. I'm not delusional but I came to the Olympics to represent myself, to show the world my style, my love for dance. She went on to explain that her goal was never to conform to traditional breakdancing norms. She wanted to create something different, something unique, something that reflected her own personality. If people connect with it, great, she said. If not, that's okay too. I'm not here to please everyone. I'm here to dance. Reagan's story resonated with so many because it tapped into something deeper than just funny dance moves. In a world obsessed with curated perfection, Reagan was a refreshing burst of messy, imperfect authenticity. She didn't try to fit in. She didn't try to be someone she wasn't. She embraced her quirks, her awkwardness and her love for dance and in doing so, she inspired others to do the same. Her message was simple yet powerful. Embrace your weirdness. Celebrate your individuality. Don't be afraid to stand out from the crowd. In a world that often tells us to conform, Reagan's message of self-acceptance and unapologetic authenticity was a much needed reminder that it's okay to be different. Reagan's Olympic journey, though unconventional, sparked a broader conversation about the nature of competition, the role of social media, and the importance of embracing individuality in the digital age. Her story challenged traditional notions of success and failure, reminding us that sometimes the greatest victory comes from staying true to yourself, even when the world is watching. In a world where social media often pressures us to present a perfectly curated version of ourselves, Reagan's story served as a powerful antidote. It reminded us that it's okay to be vulnerable, to be silly, to be different. It encouraged us to embrace our imperfections and to celebrate the things that make us unique. The 2024 Paris Olympics may be over, but Reagan's legacy lives on. She may not have taken home the gold, but she achieved something far more meaningful. She touched the hearts and minds of millions around the world with her infectious enthusiasm, her unapologetic authenticity, and her reminder that sometimes the greatest joy comes from simply dancing to the beat of your own drum. So the next time you're feeling self-conscious, remember Ray Gunn. Remember her awkward dance moves, her infectious smile, and her unwavering commitment.